is Hello everybody, it's Marlon o. Bennett. Hey you guys, listen up and thanks for being on my YouTube video or on my blog post. I thank you guys so much for, for tuning in. Um, listen, um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, something that happened to me well, a few years ago after I joined the Army. Any of you guys have been plugged in or subscribed to my channel or seen any of my videos and follow me, you know that uh, I was uh, there was a time when I was in the United States Army and I was a United States paratrooper. But I, I often refer back to a time when I was going through my uh, airborne, my jump school training down in Fort Benning, Georgia. I, I talk sometimes a lot about uh, how it's only three weeks long, number one, and really you only train in 10 days. So I went from a person who didn't, hadn't even been on a plane six months prior to, to and, uh, being on one. I was actually jumping out of them. But I remember going through uh, my second week of training. And I remember one of the instructors pulling me off to the side saying, you know what, uh, 506, because that's what they used to call you by your, it was a number they assigned to you. He said, and I was like, yes, uh, jump master, because um, these guys were jump masters. Uh, and he said, uh, you, you're never going to be a paratrooper. You might as well just quit right now and go to the White House. And the White House, of course, was where you went anytime you decided you didn't want to finish the training or you just failed one particular particular phase of the training you were going through. You went to the White House and they, of course, you were discharged from, from the jump school. And I remember thinking to myself, just because he said that, I mean, the training was very hard. It was very rigorous. But when he said that, I made up my mind to, uh, to complete it just because he said I couldn't do it. And I say that to say this, listen, when you when you talk about uh, starting to want to make money from home, when you you start talking about uh, making money on the internet, you start talking about making money online or anything else you want to do for that matter. You know, we talked about mindset in my last video. You know, what I mean, I, we talked about mindset. We've talked about you know how mindset, amongst other things like great products and services and implementation. We talked about all those things. And this is really just I'm just this is I'm just picking up from there really on this video because. When you get in this thing, if you're going to be a student of the game, we talked about that. You got to be bold. You know what I'm saying? You got to be bold. You know, uh, I remember when I first started doing videos on YouTube and, I, and my brothers and sisters and a lot of people were watching and they were saying, man, you know, how, how do you do that, man? I, and I wasn't that comfortable with it. But you know what? That's what being bold is all about. And being bold is about getting out of your comfort zone. Okay. Sometimes you got to get out of your comfort zone. When you, when you, if you're tired of, of working a, a nine to five for somebody and you you slaving away, working forty plus hours a week like I was, then you know if you only work half as hard for yourself, you could be twice as successful. And they give you all kinds of time and freedom to do all kinds of other things. So you're not willing to get out of your comfort zone for a little while so you can have the things and the time to spend with your family and have more in life where you get to write your own ticket. Then maybe this. It may not be for you, but for those of you who are who are serious and tired of that and want to create your own lifestyle, create a life for yourself where you don't have to really answer to nobody, this is where you need to be. And I'm telling you, it's the most beautiful thing. Now, when I talk about, okay, my camera's panning now. It's actually kind of crazy. Let's let it get back to where it needs to be if it's going to do it. And it, it, let me, But let me continue in the meantime. Um, the other day, uh, I, uh, I uh, set an appointment. Because I, I was I was in the market for some traffic, some, some, some new driving some new traffic to my capture pages, and I made an appointment uh, with uh, this six figure earner and with this multi millionaire. You know, I, I actually scheduled an appointment to talk to these guys, and I don't know what I was believing. You know, what I mean, I mean, I made the appointment, and and of course, I they were corresponding with me through emails, and they were telling me your appointment is going to be on this day, and one of them told me my appointment is going to be on that day. And I don't mind throwing the names out there to you. One of the guys that I spoke to the other day was James Starr. This is this guy's pretty influential in the traffic arena, but but uh, but someone that uh that's even more impressive where traffic is concerned is Dagan Smith, and you guys can go uh, Google Dagan if you want to. But at any rate. The appointments came up, right? And first, my appointment came up with James Starr. And at a certain time, he actually called my cell phone. And uh, I remember, you know, waiting for this call to come in because I knew what time was going to come. And I was sitting right next to the phone when the call came in. And he got on the phone with me. And, and we spoke a little bit about uh, some of the coaching that he's actually doing right now. That's one of the things we spoke about. And, and, and then ultimately, we talked about traffic. And uh, he was a really, really cool guy, really, really, really know his stuff, you know what I mean? And we had a conversation that probably lasted about 10 minutes because this guy is really, really busy. He's a six-figure earner. And uh, 
but uh, but after we finished, you know, I I, I hung up the phone and we talked a little bit more, and uh, I told we we told we talked to each other about corresponding a little bit more in the future. Uh, the, uh, the next call that I I received two or three days later was from Dagan Smith, and this guy's a multi multi millionaire and uh, very very impressive. Like I say, go Google this guy. But uh, when my time to speak to him came up, you know, I mean, I was a little I, I'm gonna tell you, I was a little intimidated. And then my wife was like, you know, you're going to be fine, you know what I mean? And, and anyway, when the time came in, uh, Dagan called me, and we got on the phone, and uh, wow, I, I can tell you, I, I still was awestruck. I, 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 I actually speak with him, uh, and he gave me so much great information. And actually, I'm going to share some things with you in some, some videos in the future that you can get involved with, uh, with, with where you can get involved with Dagan. It just, just, will just really blow your mind. But let's just kind of stick here. I said all that to say that... You know, I speaking to these guys on the phone. You know, I, yeah, I was a little intimidated, but at the end of the day, I'm very, very bold. You know, I by any means necessary, anything shy of illegal. You know what I mean? I'm willing to do. And you got to get out of your comfort zone if this is something that you're going to pursue. You got to get out of your comfort zone. You don't have to do videos like I do on YouTube. There are any number of ways that you can market a business online. There are any number of ways to generate lead and leads and traffic. You can do it by way of YouTube. You can do it by way of Twitter. You don't ever have to pick up your phone if you don't want to, and you can still make decent money online. But I'm telling you that when you get out of your comfort zone, you kind of let you know open let that Pandora's box open up. You you'll be amazed at what you'll be able to do, and you'll be amazed at how much better you get at it as you do it. Okay, so hey. Come on, guys. Jump all in. You know what I mean? We talked about implementation. We talked about mindset. Being bold is part of that mindset, okay? Nothing beats a failure but a try. Step out. You know what I mean? Venture into places you've never gone before. You have to shoot a YouTube video? Shoot it. I promise you, you're going to keep getting better and better and better at it. With that being said, I want you guys to look at the system that I got already set in place for anybody who's really serious, who's willing to go out and implement, who's willing to immerse yourself in that mindset and become a student of the game, then this is for you. You see this presentation, you'll see just how simple this can really be if you get the right mindset. You uh, take this thing serious, you're willing to be bold and get out of your comfort zone. Hit the link below the video. As always, this is Marlon O'Bannon. Wishing you guys wisdom, peace, prosperity, and to life without limits. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.